when a musician asked me, did I know anything about electronic music? Could I help him make new sounds electronically? And uh, the work we did together was by way of, of having some fun. Robert Moog was an electro nerd with musical ideas, the perfect combination. He knew that there were tools to create electronic sound, but no easy way to use them as instruments. So, in 1965, he presented his invention, the Moog. The first synthesizer that didn't fill a room or needed people in lab coats to operate it. Mini Moog is such a standard thing that there are probably a million musicians around the world who know exactly what every single knob on, on the Mini Moog does. And, and they can think in terms of turning those knobs. Uh, when they, when they think of actually making music. They're not technical exercise, they're, they're musical gestures. The invention spread rapidly to music scenes all over the world. Through the Moog, new genres grew and developed. Every other synthesizer which was built later were built up out of that first instrument, I think. And today even they go back to the very simple ones, to the analog synthesizers, which are not digitalized, you know. Because there is a... They have a better sound, an absolutely better sound. Fat, absolute, it's great. His unsuppressible joy for inventing still blooms in North Carolina, USA. I began thinking of myself as a builder of musical instruments when I built the theremin at the age of 14. The unique thing about this instrument is that you don't touch it when you play it. The Moog synthesizer was, and still is, a world commodity. Its development was pushed by artists like Wendy Carlos, Keith Emerson, Pink Floyd, The Beatles, Kraftwerk, and many more. Manfred Mann's Earth Band was one of the foremost Moog pioneers. And here with us today is Manfred Mann himself.